seven beats. What's good guys, it's your boy Eric McDaddy back here again with another video. First off, I wanna say happy holidays and happy new year. 2019 is right here. So today, since it's the last day, I wanna talk about how 2018 is my best year ever. And it's crazy that I can actually say that because 2017 was actually my worst year ever. A year can be a huge difference. 2017, oh man. Your boy is happy at the end of the year. Uh. In the beginning of the year, it was the darkest time that I was ever in. I had money problems because I had a low paying job. I had a broken car, so that went with the money problems. Having no ambition towards my dreams and goals. Out of shape, and I've said this multiple times, but I was in a toxic relationship. And that, that's big, that was the major key. So everything was negative, which made me make a goal for myself on actually December 31st, 2017. I wanna do more, say less, be happier. Do more, say less, and be happy. Crazy thing is, I achieved all that this year. The reason why I'm making this video is because I'm so glad that I achieved that goal, and I'm so proud of myself, that I want you guys to see what I've been through and realize that you guys can change everything around. I just wanna show you guys, like, if you guys put your minds towards it, you can do it. So, you know what? Let me give you guys a closer look and understanding of what I'm talking about. So my idols became my friends to the point where I can say they're some of my closest friends. How crazy is that? I looked up to these guys when I was like 16 years old. And the fact that I even got the chance to meet my idols is major. I, I got a chance to meet them. I got a chance to friend them. And now I can say they're close friends of mine. And to add on that, I live with not one, but two of my best friends. These dudes are going to be my life until the day I die. They're gonna be two of the groomsmen at my wedding, most definitely. Some of my closest friends from when I was in middle school traveled 2,500 miles to see your boy. Like, that's how you know you're real. I met the sweetest girl with the most absolute greatest humor and most beautiful smile. She changed my whole mindset of relationships. And again, my everyday friends became my brothers. Got to experience more in this year than I've sadly missed my first two years in Orlando. It's just sucked, man. Like, my last year was the best year that I've ever had. And I've said that before, but it's like, I'm putting a statement on it. It's like, it's facts. Yeah, I had an insane amount of alcohol. Still don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah, I had amazing memories, but my liver is definitely hating me right now. I've got to experience and meet so many people. Even have people notice me, because they, they've seen me in Eli's videos. I haven't ran into healthy junk food. And the crazy thing is, they recognized who I was. They came up to me while I was shooting a video. And I've been subscribed to them for like two years. And they have like two million subscribers. They noticed your boy with only 1,600 subscribers. How unreal is that? It's mind blowing. So I'm gonna be honest, that inspired me. That inspired me to the point where I had a brief stint of live streaming again after two years of being gone. <sighs> You guys like how I said brief stint? Cause I honestly only did it for a month because it was a lot of work. But you know, in that month, your boy got a lot of love. And I appreciate every single one of you guys who were watching and showing love and constantly supporting your boy. I even got another fan page made for me alongside this one. So right now I'm not doing it, but eventually I might go back on either the same platform or a different one. Just right now I got a lot on my plate. I'm trying to organize it and think it all out. And you never know what 2019 holds the store. Man, honestly support those who support you. I got to witness two of my boys perform live on stage in front of a huge crowd. Like that is so tight. Cause you can say that you started on the journey with them and then you guys meet them up top. And those two dudes who I just showed, their links are down below. It's Sweats, Golden Child Music. If you guys haven't already, go check them out. Go follow them, go show them love. Tell them I sent you. Because like I said, support those who support you. Major key in this world. Oh, and the biggest thing I've ever done. Again, I packed all of my stuff, road trip cross country with my lovely aunt. Shout out to you, I love you. I traveled from Orlando, Florida to San Francisco, California to make one of the biggest decisions of my life. I moved to the golden state of opportunities, golden state of dreams, and the golden state of California, man. It's just crazy because like, to this day, I don't understand how, but I got a chance to live in four major cities and experience different cultures from four different cities. I lived in Pittsburgh, Washington DC, Orlando, Florida, and now San Francisco, California. But that's not it, that's not all. I'm planning to move to Los Angeles in the next two years. So it's like, I'm already in my dream state. I just gotta get to my dream city. I gotta make the moves to get to where I need to be at. So like, if you guys are with me right now, 
we're at this part of my journey. We're, we're just basically in the beginning. We have this much more to go. So right now, I'm in a little stump. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I moved all the way to California, but I moved home with my family. It's a bad thing because I miss being on my own, but it's a great thing because I got a chance to move home, eat home-cooked meals. I got a better job, actually, so I got a better job. I get to watch my little siblings grow up. It allows me to save up and do what I love. You know what that is? YouTube and traveling. So with all of that being said, I booked a month's trip to Europe next summer. I recently changed my name from Ola Do It Nguyen to Eric McDaddy, as you guys know. Granted, I didn't make as many videos as I wanted to in 2018, but I made the big decisions from transitioning from 2k videos to in real life videos which I love because I get to show you guys my life I get to show you guys my passion of working with a camera my passion of editing and I get to see what I did 10 years from now I don't know that's why I do it I do it because I love it I do it because I can look back on it I don't do it for the views if the views come I appreciate that I respect that but you know I, I try to do it for myself so with all that being said so this year I achieved my goals I did more I said less and I was happy. Which is why 2018 was my greatest year ever until 2019 comes. Because I don't plan 2018 to be my best year forever. I plan 2019 to actually be my best year. My 2019 year's resolution is to continue to do more, of course say less, and always be happy. But I'm gonna add another thing to it. I plan to make a bigger push for my dreams and goals this year. I wanna do more acting, more traveling. I already got started by booking a month trip to Europe. So now it's just push myself, get more into my acting, back to my YouTube, and just be consistent. That's all I gotta do. And that's my goal this year. And with me doing all that, I say 2019 is gonna be my best year at that time though. Cause I plan on 2020 being my best year. And then I plan 2021 being my best year. I plan on making every year my best year and so on and so on and so on. Because you can't live in the past, you gotta live now. So it's your choice how you wanna live your life. It's your choice if you wanna make your best year. It's your choice if you wanna make the most of it. So that's all for me, 2019. I'll see you soon, I appreciate you guys. You guys already know, keep alive like Fox 5 and take care. Woo!